Today we revealed a little bit about our future plans for autonomous vehicles and showed sort of the lineup of our various generations of vehicle technology. Three years is a very short timeline relative to everything else in the industry to develop something from nothing to the level of maturity that, that we see today. When I talk to the company and the engineers at Cruise, I really say we have two products. One is the, you know, the vehicles themselves and the service that we're building around it, but the other product is our, is our process and actually how we do our engineering work. And it's almost impossible to, to get everything right on a whiteboard and develop a perfect product that just works out in such a complex environment. And so we've optimized our entire process around speed of iteration to make sure that we can take you know, the maximum number of shots and, and opportunities to improve in the shortest period of time possible. And I think that's what's led to our rapid rate of improvement. So getting the entire system from the software to the hardware and everything in between all on a rapid iteration uh, process is what's enabling us to move as fast as we are. We started the Gen 1 car right after the cruise acquisition, and then we immediately realized that we needed to uh, build in a, a greater level of reliability and go to a factory built car versus a, a hand built car, and that was track two. And then track two to track three was about introducing all these layers of redundancy that, that the regular cars uh, don't have. If we'd done it in series, it would have taken much longer, but we did these in parallel with connected but different teams working on each one so we can get where we need to get to as fast as possible. Well, one of the things that we've had to do is to define which parts of the car do need to change really rapidly and which parts of the car are going to remain more static. And once you've sort of defined that surface area of what does change, what does need to iterate really quickly, then it enables the speed that we were talking about. So when you start to remove those barriers and make individual developers more productive, you kind of turn them into superheroes. And they really like that feeling of being able to do more in less time.